When there is light, there is life. It's all, all pride to me. People are now able to adapt their lifestyles to having uninterrupted access to electricity. To me, that's the, the biggest form of resilience. About 55% of Nigeria had very limited or no access to electricity. And they are pretty much cut out from any form of civilization. Prior to now, it's always the uh, more developed countries sharing best practices with developing countries. But for the first time, clean energy is giving the opportunity for a reversal in that trend. A key to at the time we, we made initial contact with this community, he wasn't able to communicate in English. But several years down the line, but when we went back, the same kid, we were very surprised that at least he, he now had some basic fluency by having electricity access in, in, the, in, the, in their community. Teachers who were posted now saw the need and, and the incentive to stay back. Formation as a company was providing electricity to uh, villages and not just any type of electricity, but green and clean electricity and equally affordable. On purely mini grid for rural energy access, you can post off 1.1 megawatt uh, across 15 different sites. With RMI coming, stepping forward to focus on the market and information and the advocacy bit of, of that, it has taken a lot of burden off our shoulders. Distributed clean energy is now becoming glaringly the future.